Good morning. Well, I say morning, it's kind of mid-morning now. We've, um, we we're a bit knackered after yesterday. And so we decided we'd have a bit of a lay in today. We wouldn't rush. We'd just like take our time. And then we're gonna make the effort to set the alarm and try and get up for our other two park days that we've actually got booked. Once we get into the park today, I'll see if I can grab one for Wednesday. And um, we'll see we go. The room we're in now is very nice. Um, Gary, <laughs> it smelled a bit of chip fat when we arrived. And um, well, we had all the windows open. It yeah, it's that kind of smell. We had all the windows open. And then when we got back last night, it still smelled. The Gary was wafting around the room with his Sauvage aftershave. <laughs> and I'm going, don't waste that, it's 75 quid's worth. <laughs> so then it smelled of chip fat and sauvage, which was very nice. But no, I mean, it, it's all right. It's, it's very warm in here, isn't it? So the heating works well. I can't well. imagine it is chip fat, because I mean, there's no bit no, of chips, is it? It's no, like, but it's that not... kind of fatty smell, isn't it? Somebody's obviously been cooking. Um, but yeah, so we've, um, we're have we going off into the parks now. Um, we're gonna try and do some Christmassy things. Um, they've obviously got the Christmas parades and the Let's Sing Christmas and I think there's some Christmas magic shots. So I'm gonna try and do some Christmassy bits today. Um, and so we go, when we get back, I'll give you a bit of a room tour. Um, I will do like I've always done and put a room tour at the very end so that you can see what the different rooms are like here. Well, it's all very um, similar, but this one's a little bit... Yeah, this one's slightly different it's a bit bigger. because it's got sort of, I don't know if you can... It's got an extra PC with the bed in. We've sort of got an extra, an extra sort of like, bit there we've got a window on this side which is very nice and we've got i'll, I'll give you a quick look at the I'll give you a sneak peek a sneak peek sneak peek so um yeah gary was thinking he might go swimming but i don't think they do swimming this time of year and it's actually a bit cold out but yeah so where we stayed before was sort of um i don't know if you can see it's, but it's sort of up there where we stayed before overlooking the pool um but this is still very nice so obviously that's where, over there, is where we go out to the little traffic lights there that we seem to sit forever. Um, but yeah, that's very, very nice. And then over the other side, I'll just walk you over here, obviously so there's the bed. Um, over the other side, we've got a window on one side and a window this side. So we've also got a view here. So. Who came this window? Hang on, let me go over there. If you look directly at this window, it's like one of those classic autumn scenes, isn't it? Yeah. So. But yeah, so then we've got a window on this side as well. But Probably anyway, it's autumn. we'll give you a, a good look around later, but obviously that's the part of the golf course you can see there. So, yeah, yeah. right. There we go. So now we're gonna whip off to the park and try and be Christmassy. I've got my Christmas spirit jersey on. I've got my Christmas boxer shorts on, <laughs> which hasn't. you can't see unless you hasn't. pay me lots of money. We're going to the parks. Parked up, A1. I mean, we're sort of down the end-ish of it, but we're parked up in A1, which is good. And so far, we've just looked at the wait times on the rides on the app as we were driving here, and they don't seem too bad. And actually, even the main part of the car park is not that busy, so fingers crossed, We've just said it's obviously the whole um, Christmas thing that has already started. It's obviously Christmas Eve and started about a week or so ago. So we've missed the kind of start of it. We're not quite into December yet. So we're hoping that this is like a, a dead week, end of November. People are sort of thinking, well, we'll come for the opening or we'll come for December. So we're keeping our fingers crossed. So keep your fingers crossed for us that when we get in there, it's actually not that busy and um, we get to do a few bits. So there's a lot of work going on on the walking pavements. Walking pavements? Moving pavements, you know what I mean. Yeah. So let's have a little sneak peek through there. <laughs> yeah, so they're still working on them. So you never know. Well, at least One day they might actually work again. Yeah, at least they're doing. Yeah, at least they're actually working on them now. It's been years, so. Are they going to put a train there? No, they're not going to put a train there. Express. No, they're not. Oh, they? 
walk straight through security. No queue whatsoever. Like they were waiting for us. Well, I had to queep behind you. Yeah, Gary had to queue behind me, but you so know. I'd be in the queue to wait. Yeah, but yeah, straight through. I uh, can't remember the last time we did that. So that's it, we're in. We're gonna have a look at the fountains before we go in. Here it is, changed from the 30th to now the 30th with Christmas. How cute is that? The little Christmas trees that go round now instead. Oh, I do love Christmas. Focus. Stop squeaking your shoes. Stop ruining the Christmas atmosphere. Oh my goodness, look. Oh, I do love Christmas. Oh, look. Oh Gary, you can't say that. Look at Gary's smile. Oh, we actually did smile then, do I me? That's wind. <laughs> oh, it's too much to take in at once, so I think I'm gonna take some stuff in, have a look round. We've had trouble again trying to register our pass for another day, so we're going to speak to somebody again. But there's a massive queue at City Hall at the moment, so uh, we'll do that later and just to hope that we can get a thing, but right. I'm going to take a slow walk round, I think, and um, I'll show you some, but I'm going to just take it all in as well. Bit of a queue for the train. Christmas poo over there. Don't know if you can see Christmas poo. Christmas poo. Yeah. <laughs> and here, oh, look, 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 look. It never fails to uh, impress. Look at that. Love it. Just love it. I know it's snow, I love it's snow. 
just had our picture taken in front of Santa's sleigh. The sun is actually starting to come out. It's absolutely freezing, um, but the sun is starting to come out. Uh, we've just video, we've just video called Ed. Um, just after it's finished snowing actually we tried to get hold of her because um she wishes she was here with us and we wish she was here with us so uh yeah hopefully fingers crossed we've been really lucky whenever we've come here and the weather's always said it's going to rain we've always been really lucky and it hasn't but look at that up there yeah look blue sky so you never know and i've got my ears on now as well oh look this all looks so cute so it's still quite busy here today, um, but we've just um, decided that we're going to go and have a drink because it is quite chilly even though the sun's come out. Look at that beautiful blue sky now. Who'd have thought, eh? Pinocchio sausage and Gary said it's much bigger than he remembers. <laughs> you just said that did you not? Yeah, yeah I did yeah. Yeah. Mm. Yes and a, a rare treat. Yeah. So some chips. And I've got a coke, Gary's got an apple juice. So mm. But we just thought if we have some sorry it's like witness protection then we have some sustenance now and then we can get stuck into the bush, do some things and I need to try and work out how to register this extra day because it's just not letting me do it. So we'll try again in a minute. We've got ourselves a nice little cubby hole here. Look, we're in this kind of I don't know if you can see, we're sort of in this little alcove. Which is quite cute. We're sort of tucked away from everybody else, which is quite nice. So we've had our, our sausage. Oh look, he's playing the we. sink bell. Um, we've had our sausage, and we're now just walking through Fantasyland because we heard there were some gourmand stores here. So we thought we're going to have a look as we walk back round, and then we might go and see if we can get on bars or Autopia or something like that. Um, but obviously, what they were doing is they're getting rid of the ice cream place and making. Pizzeria Bella Notte bigger. Oh, look at these toperies. Oh, they're good. He's getting quite busy now, but these look quite good. Let's go see what they sell. So that's my mulled wine. I'm coming back for that later. So what's this one? All oh, right. So this one's crepes. So this one's just the crepes. Right. Okay, let's have a look what's on the next one. What's this one? Some kind of sausage and cheesy thing and smoked sausages. Right. Mm. right, let's have a look at the next one. It's quite a few for these things. Was there a small world which is still being refurbed? And what's on this one? Ah, oh, this one's pretzels. And is this mulled wine? Is this mulled wine? I can smell it. Yeah, so this one is pretzels and mulled wine. Oh, and a big bee. What's the thing? Yeah, let's come back again. <laughs> so six euros for the mulled wine. I think that might be something I'll be investing in later when it's a bit colder. That boots off, right? Yeah. It actually landed That's big. On, it actually landed on the side. I said it picked up on the centre of that, and it landed on the side on the side of the uh, the actual urn. What you call it? The urn. Yeah. And it walked, walked its way up here. Yeah. 
so it's obviously going to have a drink. It's obviously Captain B. <laughs> Suddenly, everywhere is very busy, so we've just thought we'll, we might go on Star Tours in a minute, but we'll just come to have a look in the shop, just to warm up a bit. But I like these Wookiee hats, look at those. These are pretty cute. lightsaber ears. Hats do not suit me and my family all laugh at me when I wear hats but I have to say that later on in this week you may well see me wearing my Christmas hat because if it stays being this cold I'm going to need to put up with the ridicule and wear the hat. Oh Christmas Ewok <laughs> with a candy cane. <laughs> Gary found. What have you found? That's quite cool. What is it at the moment? How much is that? 110 euros? 110 euros? Yeah, I don't like that. They've got nice cool rucksacks to go with the uh, jacket that Gary picked out. 60 euros. It's quite a nice jacket though, I have to say. These helmets are quite cool as well. Compete with all the splashes and such like. How much they are. Mm. You hold that for me so I can see how much it is. Oh, typical, that one hasn't got a price on it. Typical. Still hasn't got a price on it, I don't think. No? No. Sorry. Okay, it's uh, 50 euros. So you could have the rucksack for 60, the jacket for 110, and the helmet for 50. So a uh, nice cheap day out. <laughs> it's the queue for Star Tours at the moment is actually outside and all the way around there. Not seen it that bad for a long time. But we might go and join the queue later. Don't know yet, we're thinking about it. I mean, it says 20 minutes on the sign, but that's definitely not a 20 minute queue. Just come into the shop outside Buzz Lightyear and they've got some Christmas lounge flies as you come in, but they've also got these um, cool ratatouille lounge flies and on the back it says oops for those food always comes to those who love to cook august gusto they are 85 euros but here they've also got some ceramic and metal rolling pins 30 euros they're quite cool and for the little ones look how cute is that it says chef are they 30 euros very cute. We've got some Christmassy bits, they've got the Christmas mug. Mm -hmm. Christmas tin. Really cute plate, little sandwich plate. The train. I do love that train. These cute little things. Mm. Chocolate. Tea. A tea calendar. And these are the Christmas lounge fly. Oh, very cute. These are the Christmas spirit jerseys and obviously on the back it says Disneyland Paris so it's Mickey in his Christmas hat but I don't know personally I think they've got a bit of glitter to them I think they look a bit insipid but usual price I suppose let's have a look oh 90 euros right so quick catch up we did star tours we haven't we didn't film us queuing and everything and we've come out before we went on to start tours we did a magic shot which was 
over there that sort of just by that umbrella there um yeah um and that was a magic shot with stitch and the lady told us that later on this afternoon um they'd be doing a magic shot here with wally and eva which is just here they're doing it just just here so we have just done that one very quickly as well so no so that would be quite cute so um obviously by the time you see these we probably have them and i'll insert them so uh insert them now to City Hall to see if we can sort our annual passes out. But look, how pretty does this tree look as you're walking up Main Street towards it. And you've got all the decorations on the shops and things. This is going to look spectacular at night. Look at that. And blue sky, what more could we ask for? Lucky lady, lucky man. Lucky bunnies. So we've just come into the um, storybook um, story shop and they've got this new range in here and look these are really cute these dumbos with succulents which I thought was real but they're actually plastic. Um, they're 25 euros and then they've got these salt and pepper shakers, little trinket tray. These teapot carousel trinket holder, Dumbo mug. These are really cute. Oh, look, they've got lounge fly, they've got a phantom lounge, lounge fly. Mickey's 50th. For absolutely ages we've been looking for these to come back in to put all our pins in and they finally got them back in so we might have to invest in one of them before we go home I think so we just had another magic shot as you come in right near Frontierland we just had one with Olaf so that's good we're now going round because Gary wants to go on pirates and maybe the tree yeah, the, the tree house has been closed for a long time, so, um, so I big. want to get back in time to go and see the Christmas parade. So, and I'm not sure how long we're going to have to queue sort of to find a spot for that. Um, but that's something I definitely want to do. So we'll have to wait and see whether we can get these done. It's been good shut for a good. Well, I think it got shut. Last time we probably went on, it was before the pandemic, and oh my god, look, who's coming. <laughs> now that cloak is going to get very dirty. <laughs> right, off to Pirates and or the treehouse, see how much time we've got. Yay! Treehouse. My back really hurting at the moment so I think by the, yeah by the time I've done this I'll be completely finished off so there you go day. but there isn't much of a queue at Pirates so we're hoping we can do this whip onto Pirates and then get over ready for the um, uh, Disney Christmas parade thing Jerry's waited for this it's before the pandemic three years plus <laughs> Here we go, let's watch the smile on his face. That was a bit too close to the camera, Gary. Yes. You're watching full backwards now. I think I'm gonna let him do this and I'm gonna slowly work my way up behind. Oh yeah, there is, there's 
a sheriff's badge sort of down there-ish. Can't believe this weather. It's glorious now. working for a long time. He's such a happy little bunny. See the pearl. What was that? Oh, I see the pearl. on the tree house and as we were coming down the last few steps there's two big piles of sick which Spicy we nearly sausage. slipped in which was really disgusting so I've just had to go up to the cast member I thought it's best to tell somebody because obviously nobody knows so I went up to the cast member and I had to try and explain to him that somebody had been sick obviously like Gary said they obviously have a literal translation here so he's going sick I don't understand so I said you know he went ah oh, and I was like sick you know Ugh doing actions and he, and he went oh you mean the vomit so then he thought it was me that was vomiting <laughs> and, uh, and I said and I said no I said it's not oh no what's Gary picking up just dropped out of that tree yes an acorn or something well, yeah an acorn. just dropped out of that tree look yeah check it yeah. out love. check out me now I'm oh, stupid yeah so we just have to go and tell him so that uh, they can clear it up Right, we're going to make our way There's around. There's slices of spicy sausage in it. Oh, can you stop it? <laughs> With pea soup. Stop it. <laughs> so we're now going to go and try and get on Pirates. And then I want to try and make my way round to the um, area where the parade is. I don't know where the best place to stand is, but we're going to try and find somewhere to stand anyway. Yeah, Do our right. best. So off to Pirates. Let's go. There wasn't a very long queue just now, so we're hoping it's still the same. We've got a boat to catch. Yeah, come on then. Off we go. Right, so we've done a bit of swashbuckling, been on pirates. Gary wanted me to do a kiss during the photo. Yeah, I thought that was a bit yeah. Must have had a moment. Yeah, he must have had a moment. Now he's trying to hold my hand. What's going on? So, uh, yeah, we did that. I'll insert the photo in a minute. And uh, now we're wandering around. Hopefully, we're going to go and see if we can find somewhere. I don't know whether we need to be there oh, this yeah. early for it, but we'll go and have a look. Um, I fancy one of those mulled wines myself. I don't know if we mentioned it or not, but... Um, oh, what's that going on over there? Look. Look. Oh, that smoke. Yeah. See it? Uh, no. Over there. Oh, it's the train, isn't it? Oh, is that the train? Oh, I thought that was on fire. the train going around. Oh, so... Steam. Why are you in the popcorn queue, Gary? Honestly. Definitely needs toddler reins. Yes, yeah, so anyway, we... I um, don't know if we mentioned it or not, but... I can't remember whether we've told you or not yet. But the... Um, our annual passes, we couldn't seem to... Once you've been in for a day, once you've actually walked through the gates, you should be able to re-register for another day. And it, first of all, it wasn't accepted the annual pass. And then when it did, it was still showing today, tomorrow and Thursday. But it wasn't letting us 
actually book another one and normally once you've gone in but anyway when we came in oh where's he going now he's stuck in the road he's turning into, into, into the curious labyrinth Shut me up. <laughs> so yeah so anyway basically um once you've actually come in to the park it cancels off that reservation so you can do another one well, when we came in this morning they were kind of ushering people through straight to the turnstiles they weren't scanning i showed them our uh, pass they just looked and nodded and were sort of telling everyone to go through weren't they yeah. so Anyway, we've ended up having to go to uh, City Hall and basically they've said that if you don't get that scanned, it doesn't cancel off your day. It doesn't register that you've actually came into the parks at all. So unless you have that QR code actually scanned, then it doesn't um, actually register. So that's why we couldn't book another day because as far as they were concerned, we hadn't even turned up. Yeah. So. If you're coming into the parks, make sure whoever is on the gate scans it. And we said to her, what do we do then? And she said, oh, well, some of them haven't got their tablet or their phone on them to do the scanning. So sure, if not, you'll have to come here and tell us all what you have to do is once you're in the park, you have to cancel that day as if you're not coming and then rebook another one. And I said to her, does that mean then you can't park hop? And she said, no, because once you've actually come through the gate, your ticket should register that you would entered so all you have to do is when you go through is explain that you've already been in once but you've had a glitch and you've had to cancel it it's a bit of a palaver but the upshot of it is we've got wednesday now so, what's that oh yeah i can't video people eating there's a but... guy over there with me massive corner tonight in fact it's holding two so i'm guessing yeah. it runs for another friend or maybe just just having both yeah so basically they're they're great giant cornets like um waffle cones yeah, nuts with... and things on them no, that's popcorn, I think you'll find. Oh, is it? Yeah. Yeah, that their speciality. I'll actually I'll go and show you because it's just in that little bit there, the March Hare place. So yeah, it is. so yeah, so that's what you need to do. You need to make sure you get that QR code scanned, otherwise you'll have problems like us. But it's all sorted out because now we can come in on Wednesday. So we've now got Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. We're not going to bother with Friday because we said it was a bit tight last time and just in case we hit traffic again or an accident or whatever we're just going to get up get ready and go and, and actually have a little mooch around perhaps the terminal at um calais which we've not yeah, actually not got, to, that, yeah. not got to do because it's always been skin of our teeth sort of thing Nearly so, so yeah, yeah rush out again without having done the week. yeah so i think what we're going to do is we're going to just now we've got the extra day in the park anyway so and i'm hoping i can sit down tonight and make a list of exactly what I want to do and perhaps some timings. Um, thing is, um, they don't have physical maps anymore. And I asked her if they were bringing, any, bringing them back and she said no, that they're gonna be a thing of the past now completely. No more physical maps at all. And thing is, I do like a map. We do like a map, don't we dear? We like a map. Yeah, well not only that, but it's nice to be able to physically have one in front of you and you can mark off where you're going and what you're doing as you go along. So no more physical maps. It's a shame. Um, there was something else I was going to say. I can't remember what it was now. We also asked her while we were there about uh, now the good Bob is back. <laughs> whether um, they were going to change the park preservation things. And I said, you know, like there's hints that it's going to happen in Walt Disney World. And she said, no, it won't be happening in, in Paris. She said, because they, they, they've, what they've done, she said, is they used to have, how many did she say? Was 90,000 90, people a day was their capacity. And they've cut it down now to 45,000 a day. And the reason they've done that is because otherwise it's just getting too busy and unable to control it and she said they can't regulate the flow of people because if they know they've got 45,000 they can staff for 45,000 and they can do that comfortably if they were to put it back to full capacity and some days they were to have 90,000 people suddenly turn up they don't have enough restaurants open they don't have enough staff so they said that what they're doing is they're keeping it at 45,000 um, and you will still have to register so it doesn't look like it's going to change here which is 
a bit gutting really and Gary said that if it doesn't change he's not sure if we'll renew our annual passes next year and I know a lot of people feel the same so be interesting to see anyway let's go oh let me just show you the March hair things oh yeah and I saw this and I was just having it for But that's what you have to. Yeah. Oh my goodness, look, it's Christmas stitch. It's Christmas stitch. <laughs> Just saw Christmas stitch. So to Gary, I'd like to go and meet Christmas stitch. Maybe that's another one to put on the list. I just went to get some mulled wine. Left Gary here waiting. We're waiting for the Christmas parade. And I went off to get some mulled wine, which uh, consequently Gary's now drinking. Yeah, yeah. Sip. Jack came up to me. I'll, I'll put a little clip in, but I didn't get a chance to get my phone out in time to actually film him because I'd left the camera here with Gary. Came up, put his arm around me, and he was trying to get all the wine off the people. And he was chatting away in French. I didn't understand what he was saying, but and he was he was like sip, going up to everyone's wine, and, yeah, and then he ended up walking off. Oh, oh hang on. So um, he just went on through the past, so that was quite good. And um, now we're just waiting for this Christmas parade. And we've come to the bit by Small World, right at the very end, because they come out of the doors there. That's where the Queen is going back, look. And Tweedledum and Tweedledee. That's where the Christmas show comes, it starts there. So we thought this might be a good place to stand to be able to see it, clearly. It's starting to really, really chill off now. I'm starting to get quite cold now. So I think we're going to watch that show, do something else, and then they've got another one later, um, all lit up apparently. So we'll do this one now. Maybe do the other one another time. I think I'm going to get my wine back now. What wine? Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Do you want some mulled wine, Gary? Oh, no, no, I don't no, want I mulled some wine. Have to sing the battle ship, mm. Oh, I just have a sip, he says. Mm. Just trying to get me drunk, mate. Let's see if I've got Christmas boxes. He hasn't got Christmas boxes. But, I, you know, he keeps on about them so much, I might actually buy him some. Right, 